Police received a phone call from a panicked woman claiming that her friend Danny had shot her other friend, Dylan. Police quickly arrived at the residence from which the call was made to find the caller, Kylie, performing CPR on the friend that was shot. Kylie was kneeling over Dylan, who lay on the floor next to the couch, and seated on the couch, towering above both Kylie and Dylan, was Danny, who sat calmly, not even attempting to help. Now, you would think this makes Danny to be the obvious perpetrator, especially considering that Kylie had claimed that Danny had shot Dylan. But as you'll hear in a minute from Danny's interview with the police, he had a very logical explanation for passively watching. You see, Dylan had shot himself in the head. And what are you supposed to do in a situation like that? CPR won't save a person from a cranial bullet wound. And yes, Kylie had said that Danny had shot Dylan, but further questioning would reveal that Kylie did not actually witness the shooting. According to Kylie, she had come over with Dylan to Danny's house, bringing ribs, potato salad, and Sweet Baby Ray's. Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, I hope. Delicious. <laughs> but hopefully for Canadian Thanksgiving, you get to eat a lot of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. How could anyone seriously believe this guy's an android? In any case, in addition to the Sweet Baby Ray's, the three friends were indulging in plentiful amounts of alcohol. And eventually, some name-calling occurred, which escalated to Danny telling Dylan that he'd shoot him. Dylan responded by daring Danny to do so, and Kylie didn't like where things were headed, so she excused herself. But as she exited the residence and closed the front door behind her, she heard a gunshot. She returned indoors to find Dylan bleeding out on the floor, and that's when she called the police. So, objectively, Kylie isn't exactly a witness to a crime, but apparently Danny and Dylan were both in the room when Dylan was shot. So, the police wanted to take Danny in for questioning. But instead of calling Danny into the police station as a witness, the police arrested Danny. The reason for arrest was Danny's lack of compliance. He refused to leave the residence, which was now a crime scene despite being his own home. And so he was forcibly removed and detained in jail before the detectives were able to question him. But while Danny was being dragged off to jail, he did make a comment to the responding officer that Dylan had shot himself. In the meantime, Dylan passed away. The autopsy report showed that he was shot by a gun from a distance of roughly two feet away. The entry point was the tip of his nose. And you might say, this seems like an uncommon way to off yourself, but you weren't there. You don't know what happened, and neither does Kylie, but Danny does. Let's hear what he has to say. Hey, All right. Morning. You're Danny? Uh, yes. Danny, I'm Detective Hedlund, and this is Detective Nixon. And we Hi. will take an opportunity to talk to you this morning, if that's okay. How you feeling? Like shit. Yeah. Well, because because you were arrested for I don't know what happened, arguing with the cops or whatever. But I have to. Read. I, I have no clue. All right. Before we before we start, because you are in jail, I have to read your your Miranda rights, like you see on TV. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand the rights that I just read to you? All right. Having your rights in mind, do you want to talk to us this morning and answer some questions and give us your side of the story? Yeah, there ain't no, All right. no problem. Can you sign right there then that just acknowledges that I read those to you? Not gonna be easy if you're wearing handcuffs, huh? What's wrong with your I wrist? can't write anyway. It's rheumatoid arthritis severe. Well, I'll just make a mark. And then. COPD, I'm supposed to be an oxygen and my nebulizer. Do they Every have, day. They have that here? No, I don't know. It's all at my house. All right. Well, they can. It's a big machine. As soon as the doctor clears it, they can. You go by Dan or Danny? Dan, usually. Okay. All right. I got a 
I don't know what happened to my wrist. It's just all this shit popped up before you guys took me to jail. Last yesterday, last night. All those marks? All this dodgy bruises. And this was bleeding, that's how it just they like to rip the skin right off like paper. And just start bleeding. You on blood thinner medication or anything like that? No. Huh. No, I don't. All right, so let's uh Tell me what you remember about last night. I was having a good time. Me and Dylan and his ex-girlfriend. Dylan just got there because he was busy with his... Oh, my son's ex-girlfriend. So you have a child with her or something? Yeah. Dylan does? Okay. Yeah. He's been, uh, he's got my chainsaws and all that stuff. He's, my son drowned here four years ago. And they were best buds. I mean, all of them. So he started hanging out with me. And Dylan says, well, I'll, I'll take Daniel's place. Because I guess that's what his name was, Daniel. Mm -hmm. And he was my son. I let him use anything he wanted. I mean, he still got slot my stuff. But I... I have no clue what happened. Okay. Except he had my nine millimeter, which is usually sitting down there on the floor by the couch. Dylan did? Yeah. Okay. Is is that gun registered to you? Yes. Through here, I believe. What kind of gun is it? Smith and Wesson, nine millimeter uh S five, I think. And you say it's normally sitting by the couch? Yeah. Yeah. Is it usually loaded? Yes. So... Well, there ain't no kids or nothing hanging around my house, you know? Mm -hmm. No no little ones or... My dog don't play with it. Right. And you just live there by yourself? Yeah. When, prior to them coming over last night, when was the last time they were at your house? Either one of them, or both? Wow. Three days earlier, maybe both, four. Both, both of them were there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, three or four days earlier. Yeah, that's the first time I've seen Kylie, and shit since my son died four years ago. So three, four days ago, she showed up with Dylan. Yeah, yeah. And then again last night. Yes. Well, she was there yesterday while he was dropping his daughter off to his old girlfriend. Right. And she didn't want to be in the middle of that mess. Okay. So she just sat over there with me. Okay. Watching TV and... Dan, do you drink every day? Not every day. How often do you drink? Twice a week, maybe. Okay. Maybe. When you drink, do you normally drink to the point of excess and you get drunk? It's kind of drunk? No. Okay. No, just drink to relax and go to sleep. Okay. I don't get stupid or none of that shit. Yeah, but I'm trying to gauge. Are you an alcoholic? Yes. Okay. And do you drink to the point of passing out? No. Okay. Do you ever, uh, while you're drinking, have issues remembering what you did the night before? No. Okay. 30 years ago, I lost my driver's license. Fourth offense reduced to second here. Here? here Lake County is where I got all my tickets. What deputy arrested you? You remember that? Jeffrey Chamberlain. Chamberlain, gotcha. Okay. All right. Was he nice to you? No. <laughs> Not at all. Okay. So you don't normally have an issue with remembering after you've been... No. So did you see Dylan shoot himself last night? No. I was glancing at TV when he's... Like he's sitting like from me to that chair over there in front of my wood stove with my pistol. And I'm watching TV and his girlfriend's sitting over here in a chair... And they were talking about something. I wasn't paying much sense to them. And all of a sudden, boom! Couldn't hear shit. Had blood all over me. She had too. How'd you get blood on you? From Dylan, when he shot himself. But were you on the other side of the room? When I was on the couch. In the living room there. Okay. Right in front of the TV. How far from him? 
closer than that chair, probably from you, where you're at, maybe. Okay. Yeah, because that's, that was only a 12-foot trailer, 12 wide. So, Kylie said you went and loaded the gun at some point. It was loaded. She said you went and loaded it, and mm -hmm. she saw that happen. Dylan knew it was loaded, because I, I showed him the clip. What were you guys arguing about? Well, it wasn't arguing. She said you guys always kind of go back and forth. Well, we do. Just screw with each other and... Like, father-son shit, you know? Because mm -hmm. that's the way they are. <laughs> and him and her go at it pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean, fist and fist. Well, I'm trying to, you know, she said you went and loaded the gun. It, and it was loaded. It's just... There wasn't one in the chamber, you know what I mean? It was, the clip was in it, but it wasn't one in the chamber. She said you did that. No. I can't, shit, I can hardly pull it back. You know, I ain't got no When's strength. When's the last time you shot that gun? A month ago, at least. Was that home or? Yeah, across the driveway, beer cans and. Pop cans or milk jugs or... Okay. How long have you owned the gun? Two years, maybe maybe three. Okay. Have you fired any other guns recently? 12 gauge. When was that? A couple weeks ago. Okay. 12 gauge deer slayer. And I got a 22 pistol. Okay. And that's registered too? Yep. Through here. Okay. And you've not fired any guns since two weeks ago? Correct. Okay. Not even 22. I got rifles, 22 rifles. Dan, the evidence indicates that you probably shot Dylan. I didn't shoot Dylan. Why would I shoot my best bud? I think because you were drunk and you guys were not having good words, and he kept saying he would take your boy's place. He did. He volunteered for that, and that was years ago. Mm -hmm. He did last night, too. Yeah. Well, no. No, not like you're saying. Well, he said those words last night. Well, he is. He's my son. Okay. He's filling my Daniel's shoes is what he's doing. He's helping me with all my stuff. He did. They even brought me water yesterday. I, I get that, and I get that you care for him, but sometimes when we're drinking, we do things that we wouldn't normally do, and... No, I don't think... Dan, I'm... the evidence indicates that he would, did not shoot himself. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Because I don't... Kylie was outside, wasn't she? No, she was sitting right there in a the chair. Did she shoot him? I don't know. I, th I thought he shot himself, literally. Because well, she was in a chair, he was sitting right there in front of her next to the wood stove, and I'm sitting there on the couch watching TV. And your own words are, you don't lose memory when you're drinking. Right. Okay. But I, she, she was outside a couple different times. She went outside to pee, she went outside to use her phone. Who called the cops? She did. I don't have a phone. I lost mine four weeks ago. Mm-hmm. And I ain't got no water. That's fifteen hundred bucks. Couldn't afford that. When she asked you right after he was shot, what the fuck did you do? What was your answer to that? I didn't do shit. I said call nine one one. Cause I ain't got a phone. I didn't do nothing. Did you say words to the effect of he offered to take Dan Daniel's place, so I let him? No, 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 no. Well, see. I don't know how you got that misconstrued, but when Daniel died, Dylan and Daniel, they used to be tight buds. Mm -hmm. And Daniel disappeared. And Dylan says, well, I'll fill Daniel's shoes for you, Dan. I said, well, thank you very much. And I appreciate all the help and everything you do for me, bud. So I took him in like a son. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd lend him money. I'd give him whatever he needed. I mean, Have you ever pointed a gun at him before? No. So I ain't never pointed a gun. Some, if someone said that, would they be lying? Yes. Correct. Okay. 
You don't point guns at people, but unless you're going to use them. Yes. Well, sometimes when you're intoxicated, you might. You're intoxicated, you don't play with guns. Well, why'd you have the gun out there then? I didn't. It was just laying there on the floor. But Dylan, being drunk, he likes shooting. So Actually, you think, what, he just randomly picked up the gun, no arguments taking place, and he just picked the gun up and shot himself? I don't know what he did. Come on, man. Because he, he was. He picked the gun up and shot himself, and there's no argument going on. See, four we it wasn't even four weeks ago. Him and Kylie was out there with some little black kid, mm -hmm. and Dylan took the shotgun and the 9 millimeter out on the porch and taught that kid how to shoot. Mm -hmm. Well, supposedly. And he's a gun nut, Dylan is. He likes guns. He likes shit. You know, none of what you're saying is making any sense, right? It's not going to make sense to anybody else out there in the world that, you know, when they look at how Dylan was shot and the physical evidence from his gunshot wound. I have no clue. That it wasn't something he did to himself. So the bottom line is, here's the deal. I don't think you're a bad guy. You're clearly not a criminal. You haven't lived a criminal life, you're, and you're not a criminal now. So I try to stay home. You're just a, a normal just guy that had a really bad night last night, and something bad happened. And I'm thinking it was some kind of accident. Was that what happened, Dan? It was an accident? You didn't mean for it to go off? <laughs> Dan. I you, don't know. Was it an accident? I remember handing him the gun. That was it. And I thought for sure Kylie was sitting right in the chair. I don't... It wasn't on purpose if it was. Because it... Well, I, I don't I, think I, you would have I don't killed want, a guy that you... My best bud. About. And I needed him. He was supposed to stack all that wood in the front yard on the porch. But... I'm trying to figure out, was this something that Dan did out of anger or was this an accident? Hey, not to do out of anger, not to him. I don't guess it's an accident, Dan. I don't know. You know, I, if you maintain this story, it looks like you did it on purpose. I know what you're saying, but... Dan, I've been doing this for four decades. I know. Okay? You've been here a long time. A long time. I've been around <laughs> the block, okay? Nobody is going to buy this, okay? And if you stick to it, you look like a murderer. Are you a murderer? No, I'm not going to admit to something I didn't do, though, see? But I... Listen, that that right there is not a believable statement. It, it appears that there was some couple drunk guys fucking around with a gun, and somebody's dead with well, it. She was drunk, too. Okay. Actually, they were drinking some kind of vodka. Both of them, him and her. Mm -hmm. I was just drinking Budweiser. And Dan, did you accidentally shoot your friend? I don't believe it. I wish my dog could talk, because he is very terror. But I don't have no witnesses, no nothing. Dan, the evidence says you accidentally shot this guy or you did it on purpose, and you need to tell me which one was it. I sure wouldn't shoot my buddy on purpose. All right. Was it an accident? I don't know. I, but I don't believe it. I don't think I'd, I wouldn't do that. Why would I point my gun at my bud? Because you were drunk. And so was he. Oh, wasn't that goddamn drunk? I like he didn't it. shoot himself, Dan. How come he didn't give me a breathalyzer when you took me in here last he, night? He did. You know, today? Yeah, last night as well. Really? Yeah. Well, what was it? Uh, I don't remember. I'd have to look it up. But it's it probably one, on video. One, one this morning. Yeah. You know, you're, you're, a, you're a, a man of, of your word. I know things about you. You're not a bad dude. No. People seem to like you. You tend to be upfront and honest. I am. And I recognize that this is a really bad situation, and you're probably scared. I'm okay. scared to death. But the bottom line is, you shot that boy, and I need to know whether it was on purpose or it was an accident. It wasn't on purpose, guaranteed. Tell me what happened. I don't know. He wanted to see the gun, I let him see it. Did you point it in his direction? No, I just handed it to him like that. Did it go off? Hand. No, it wasn't even loaded then. 
I mean, the click was in it, but there wasn't one in the chamber. Okay. He, he had to go, click, click. Did you see him do that? No, I just heard it, because I was watching TV. How did, he, how did he shoot himself at an angle that's impossible for someone to shoot themselves at? I have no clue. That's forensic I'm evidence. sitting on the couch, and he's sitting... Dan, you see these TV shows. I it's, know it's, all about it. Okay. But I don't know anything about that. Well, he didn't shoot himself. I didn't shoot him. I, I'm, I'm, Did you black out? I don't, I don't think so. I'm trying to come up with a logical explanation why a man that's not a criminal shot his, his buddy. I have no clue. I have no clue. The only one that knows is you. The other guy's dead. Yeah, no shit. If this is the road we go down, Dan, it looks like you're a murderer. I know. Well, it's good anyway. I, I, need, I, the, I need the truth. Was it, you know, the, there are different degrees of killing someone. There's manslaughter. There's first-degree homicide, like you planned it. Did Man. you plan this? No. Hell no. All right. So what happened? We go hunting and fishing and everything what together, happened? you know? I have no clue. Did the gun accidentally go off? I don't know. How do you not know? I remember handing him the gun, and that was it. Why'd you hand him the gun? Because he wanted to see it. He's a gun nut. <laughs> he wanted to see it. The yeah. gun that he shot before, oh, yeah. he's already seen it. He knows how to shoot it. He shot it before. You know, usually they stay open when you pull it, when you shoot your last shell. Mm -hmm. You lock open. This one don't. Dan, you, you're going to end up being charged with a homicide. And I don't know whether this was an accident or whether you got angry and did this on purpose. And I need to know why I'm, you did this. I'm not like that. Why did you do this? I have no clue. I, I wasn't sure in the hell it wasn't on purpose. Why did you do it? I don't know. Tell me what happened. Well, none of it. Just quit, carrying on conversation. Just... Quit going to the BS story that he shot himself. We know that didn't happen. I don't know. What happened? Not a clue. I... Dan, then... you're, you're not a liar. You're not a person. That's right. You're not a person that can sit and lie. You're not in between. Typically, when people are not chronological or pathological liars, they have a hard time lying. And it's very clear just by your facial expression, the way you're holding yourself, you're not being honest with me right now. I'm not lying. Okay? And I need to know what happened. The world wants to know what happened. If I knew, I'd tell you. You do know. Not totally. You do know. I remember handing him the gun. Mm -hmm. Did you try to take it from him? No. No. I just continued watching TV. I was watching them westerns. And Kylie's sitting in the chair next to him. And she wasn't saying nothing because she was drinking and she he was out, drunk she too. She was outside. She just walked out when the gunplay started. Really? Mm hmm. She went outside twice to use her phone because mm -hmm. her phone do not work in the house. Yeah. And she was in the house, shit, hour, two hours prior to that because she was sitting there waiting for Dylan to come over. He had to walk over from his sister's. Yep, yeah, she told us that. Yeah. But those critical seconds of when you shot Dylan, Oops. you can't keep hiding behind I don't know. Well, I don't. If I knew, I'd tell you. Well, you got to tell me what happened. I don't know if what you, happened. Does it have on the gun? Does the gun have a safety? No. Okay. So it's a striker fire gun. That's what they call that. Yeah, there ain't no hammer yeah. on it either. Yeah. It's a striker fire. Yeah, it's double action, I think. Yeah. Somebody had to pull the trigger, either on purpose quite a ways. or by accident. A long ways, because it's quite tough to pull. By accident or on purpose? You said it wasn't on purpose. It wasn't on purpose. You... That don't make much sense. No, a lot of times when we're drinking, things don't make much sense. You know? You're drinking, the kid's always bringing, you know, he, he, he the whole... So your boy drowning, 
all of this stuff in your in your head. This this kid talking about he's gonna take his your boy's place or he, he was. He, he was filling like, his shoes. He's my bud. She didn't do anything for me. Just I'd like I'd do anything for him. How about tell the truth? Would you tell the truth for him? Yeah. Sure, certainly. Or would you lie to protect yourself? <laughs> Or think you're protecting yourself. I ain't protecting myself from nothing. I'm dying anyway. We're all dying. Well, I don't have nobody left up here. I got a son somewhere in town, but I haven't seen him since my other son died. He's supposed to be court ordered to come to my house, but my house is too dirty and I ain't got no water and blah, blah, no visitation, no. The girl, my ex sister in law won't even let him call me. So. I didn't want to be here this winter anyway. Psst. Me and Dylan were going deer hunting. Huh? Until this accident happened. Or you murdered him. I didn't murder him. I don't murder anybody. I know this. What, what, tell me, you can't keep pretending you don't know. I don't know. You do know. You do know. No. Okay? This, this is, you're not BSing anybody here, Dan. I know. You're not BSing me, you're not BSing him, and you're not gonna BS people in the public when this gets out. Oh, I know. Okay, you're gonna look like a lying murderer. They know better than that, though, because they know they like that. But that's what you're doing right now. I've been here forever, and they know That's me. what you're doing right now. When it matters the most about whether you're telling the truth or not, you're deciding to not tell the truth. How can you tell something you don't know? I don't know why you didn't know. You said you don't black out. I don't, I didn't. I this is when it matters the most. I didn't it, kill him. Is Dan McCarthy an honest guy yeah. or is he a liar? I'm an honest guy. They, everybody knows that. Do they? Well, they should. This is when it matters the most. They should. Did he come Although, into the police station and lie or did he tell the truth? No, regardless of the cost, did he tell the truth? Yes. You're not telling the truth. <laughs> Period. It's the same thing I did 30 years ago when I lost my driver's license. Uh, this is way different than that. Okay? So the, the what matters now is why this happened. I have no clue why. Just stupid shit, I guess. Dan, we have a what's called a gunshot residue test here. Uh -huh. So we're going to do that. Have you washed your hands since you've been in jail? Uh, no. So no. you're not going to be on video washing your hands? Shouldn't be, but I did take a shower earlier. Did you? But I... You're in jail? Yeah, this morning. Okay. Quite a long one, too. But I didn't get my shit all wet, you know, because I was bleeding pretty good. What hand do you shoot with? Left or right. It don't matter. Okay. Both. I have a, we have a warrant to obtain buckle swabs, which are DNA. Yeah. Go for it. So if Dylan touched that gun, his DNA should be on it, right? Shouldn't be fingerprints at all. Okay. Yeah. And if you haven't shot a gun, which you said you haven't for two weeks, you should have no gun shot residue on your hands, correct? I would think so. I think not. Yeah. Well, is that a yes or no? Would a, does a 22 rifle make a difference? Mm-hmm. One shot? Mm-hmm. I shot that. When? Day prior, day before yesterday. That chipmunk in the backyard. Mm -hmm. It's a bolt action, five shot clip, I believe. Solid nose bullets. But other than that, let's test it. And this Dylan, is going to be your only opportunity, and... Dylan's sprint should be on that gun. I'm going to get up, we're going to get up and leave here a little bit. And you're never going to have an opportunity to tell the world what happened. Okay, and then we're going to come forward with the evidence, and the evidence is going to say, well, he shot him, and then he chose to come in and lie about it, which means that he murdered the guy. I'm not lying. You're lying. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Officer, I'm sitting. 
I don't listen. I've had every. I've had many, many murderers and rapists look me in the eye and say they're telling the truth. I've had them swear on their child. I've had them swear on their mother. I've had them swear on everything out there. Mine are all dead. Here's the bottom line, Dan. I was born at night, but not last night. You're not telling me the truth. Okay. I'm telling you and what I know. Absolutely no doubt about that. I'm telling you what I know. There's no doubt about it. Tell you what I know. No, you're not. Yes. Sir. I can't tell you something I don't remember. Do you black out when you're drinking? Not usually. All right. Do you remember arguing? We argue all the time. Do you remember arguing last night? Yeah. What were you arguing about? Oh, uh, probably a chainsaw. My new saw. Mm -hmm. What about it? And gas and oil. He's had it for two weeks. He's supposed to use it one day and bring it back. It's a brand new little Husqvarna chainsaw and gas and oil in the toolbox and... What did he say when you told him you wanted it back? He said, it's in the truck. I said, where's your truck? He said, it's at the house. He said, I rode with Kylie over to my sister's. And that's what I had to do there. Kid exchange or whatever. But him and his buddy Joey, Joey Wilkinson, was, uh, they've been hanging out for the last week or two, cutting and Drinking and partying and smoking weed and shit. Why would Dylan kill himself? I don't know. I wouldn't think he would. Unless he thought that son of a bitch was empty. Why would, well, he, why would Kylie say you pointed a gun at him previously? I have no clue. So she's a liar? As far as I can tell. As far as you can tell. Is Kylie a liar, yes or no? Well, I don't know her that well, see? Well, you, did you ever point a gun at Dylan? I don't, probably. Okay, tell me about that. Just empty gun. No clips, no nothing. Did you do that last night? Not that I remember. When have you done that to him? A year ago. What before was, Christmas. Why did you do that? We just fuck around with a gun. Okay, so Kylie's not a liar. No, I did point a gun at him. Okay. At one time or another, but... But it never were loaded. Even he knew that. Well, he evidently he didn't, but... How old man are you? 62? 63? 62. 62? Okay. You get, you get SSI or disability? What? SSI, I'm disabled. Okay. How do you want to be remembered in this world after you're gone? Just like I am. How's that? Upright, good standing guy. That shoots his friend. And I help lie. anybody I can. That, uh, except I for that one time. I don't. That your friend got shot. And you chose to lie about it, Dan. I'm not lying. You are lying. I'm not lying. You are lying. You can tell me whatever you want to say, bud. I'm telling I'm you. I'm not lying. He didn't shoot himself at the angle that this was done. I don't. I, I swear to God, I didn't he shoot did, him. Well, who did? It sure, sure wasn't Kylie, I wouldn't think. Well, who was it? Well, whose fingerprints are on the gun? Did someone break into your house last night? I, I don't know. I wasn't there. It's, while you were there, was there anybody no. else at the house? No, just Kylie and him right. and my dog. So he didn't oh, and shoot his himself. dog. He didn't shoot himself. And his dog. Kylie didn't shoot him. So who does that leave, Dan? Me, Ralph, or Brody. <laughs> I'm thinking he shot himself. No, he didn't. Absolutely did not. Where was, where was the gun? It should have been right by him, or in his lap, or somewhere. Well, it wasn't. Well, was, it, it was, was it at my feet on the couch? It was not. Or on the table, or did on the couch? Did you pick the gun up after he shot himself? I don't remember picking it up, period, after he shot himself. Okay. I just heard the bang. And then there's blood all over the place. And Kylie even had blood on her. I mean, goddamn. Well, I think I think the way you'll be remembered is probably not the way you want to be remembered. Yeah. And as as long as we're just going to keep going down the same road. Well, I can't admit to something I don't remember. You know. I think that's pretty convenient of uh -huh. you not remembering. It ain't convenient. You, you, your words that you don't black out when you drink. I don't. So suddenly last night you blacked out? Could have been. 
Well, I was drinking EJ and Bud and what's EJ? Uh, well, they call it Irk and Jerk. It's a brandy. Oh, okay. Uh, and that, what the hell they have? They have a fifth of vodka, I think they brought. You drank that too? Well, I took a swallow of that. It's because I don't do vodka. <laughs> okay. Just how, usually how I don't do vodka, just don't like it? No. I don't, I don't like any alcohol. I just like the feeling it gives me, not the flavor. Okay. And I smoke a little weed, and that's it. Did you smoke any weed last night? I'm not while they were there. Prior to them? Yeah. To her yeah. I got a bowl there. I hit it a couple times, and that was it. Actually, there's probably still weed in it sitting on the table. Okay. This will just take a hit and set it down. Maybe a couple hours later or something, hit it again or whatever. Lieutenant, do you have anything? So, why? Have you ever shot any holes through your uh, house? Yes. When was that? Uh, within the last couple of years. I got a brand new window there by the wood stove that's got a hole in Bullet hole in the top corner, the four hundred dollar window, which I never bought one before in my weeks life. Ago. No, there's a hole in my roof too, my ceiling, but that was from a nine millimeter high point carbine. Well, why would why would Kylie tell us that you two weeks ago shot a hole through the side of your trailer? I have no clue. There ain't no hole in the side of my trailer. There's two holes. You have one in the roof. You have one by your entry door. No. So Kylie's lying. Yes. There ain't no bull, there ain't no bullet hole next to my entry door. There's one on the top corner of my window and in the roof. So what? When was the one in the top corner of the window? When did that happen? Hell, I don't know. Six months ago, seven. I'll have to ask the guy to put the window in. Were you drunk when that happened? He's my buddy. Were you yeah. Drunk? So you got a propensity? Because I didn't even remember that. I said, who the hell shot my window? So Because I didn't even hear the bang. So you're getting guns out again when you're drunk? Same gun. Same pistol. That was through the window and... Uh, so tell me about those times. What happened? I thought it was empty. You know, the clip was out. But there was so it was just because there was no clip, and I don't mean shit. I right, mean, but it's what we would call a, a negligent or an accidental discharge, correct? I mean, you yeah, didn't for it to happen. Right, there's one in this chamber yet, yet. Because well, yeah, it didn't it don't come out with a clip, you know. You were intoxicated when that happened. Yeah, both times. Yeah. Okay. So and the is, clips were out both times, too. So this has happened to you twice before. With a rifle and a pistol. Yep, this has happened to you twice before. Yeah. So it makes you think it ain't third time, huh? Right. It does look great. It, why, would Kylie, why would Kylie tell us that you have a propensity of pointing that gun at people when you drink, including Dylan, who you pointed at multiple times? Last night, you loaded the gun yourself by wrecking the slide. You loaded it, and you never pointed at him last night. However, you were waving it around last night. Does that sound fair? No, because I don't remember racking a shell in it. I knew it was loaded. You sure don't remember a lot for somebody that remembers a lot about when things happened. Dan, look, this look, is, I don't know what to tell you. Dan, you know, this is the time for you to be the man that you are. I am. Okay, you're not. I'm trying. You're not. Uh, you I remember, can't. You remember I can't. the other times. I can't have lived my life. You remember the other times the gun went off. Yes. While you were drinking. But this not, one you blacked out. Is it, I just don't know. Is it the stress of what you saw? What, why, are you, why would you I, black I, this out? Dan, I, I'm not lying to you. He didn't shoot himself. Okay. I, I heard the noise and I couldn't look. After the gun went off, what did you do with the gun? I have no clue. I don't think I even had it in my hand or next to me on the couch. I'm pretty sure he had it. You, you Tell me about how you handed him the gun. Where were you sitting and where was he sitting? I was sitting right on the couch. And you picked it up off the floor and handed it to him? Yeah. I got, well, I got a little table there. Mm -hmm. And it sits on top of this little jar. And I handed it to him. 
It had, had a full clip in it, 17 rounds, but there wasn't one in the chamber, you know? Because mm -hmm. it was empty all the time. But he come over a few weeks ago there with his Kylie and some little other kid and shot it. And he shot all the bullets I had in it, so I didn't put none more in it till the other day. I refilled it. Dan, is it possible that you had an accidental discharge last night and Dylan got hit? Damn, I don't know how that would happen. Well, probably. Because it's kind of hard to accidentally hit somebody when you can't hit shit to start with. You well, know? we weren't trying to hit the roof. We're here, the wall next to the window or the corner of the window? No. I wasn't trying to do that then. I didn't. Is it possible that you had a negligent discharge last night and somebody got hurt? Well, uh, damn. That could be. Could be possible. Who's the. What's the clip in it? Or was there just one in the chamber, you know, with the clip out? I don't know. What difference would that make? Well, it could have been an accidental discharge. You know, because there ain't no clip or anything, just bang, bang, you know? You figure it's empty. Just a minute ago, you said the clip was in it. That's what I thought it was when I picked it up. And it was a full clip. I mean, it had all 17 rounds in it. So, Dan, the last time you had these negligent discharges, you know, did you drop the clip and pull the trigger thinking it was empty? Yeah. And that's what happened? Yeah. One I know you said was a uh, uh, carby. carby. There's a clip in that, too. Yeah, that's the same deal, though. Okay. So the you clips pulled, are out. Hold the clip, and you normally store your guns without one in the chamber, right? right that's correct. what it sounds like. Yep. Is that true? And no clips. Okay. So you pull the magazine out. In your mind, especially if you're drinking, the gun's empty, right? Yeah, but one in the chamber. Yep. Yeah, you learned that the hard way, haven't you? Well, I guess I'm getting a hell of an education right now, ain't I? Is that what happened last night? I don't know. It, it, I don't know. I don't, I don't know where the gun is. I don't know where the clip is. I don't know nothing. I don't. Where do you think Dylan was shot at on his body? I have no clue. I, I couldn't even guess. Is it safe to say that you sat there the whole time this entire thing was going on and stared at the television and didn't even look that direction. Now keep in mind when you answer this question that not only did rescuers on the scene say this, but also Kylie said that you never one time ever looked over in the direction of your friend laying dying on the floor. Well, I did once. I told her to call God and call 911 because I ain't got a phone. Holy shit. That's what she said. Holy shit, Dan. Holy shit. God damn, Dan. And psh, damn, Dan, what? What the fuck? Dan, you, you have eluded completely things that you remember just fine, but eluded other parts of the story. Does it make any sense to you what you're saying to us? Does your story make any sense to you? Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, it does, because that's... Explain I'm, to me how that makes sense to you. I'm just telling you like I remember it, you know, because I, I don't know. I don't know what happened with the gun. You certainly remember looking over at your dying friend. I've seen him down there on the floor. But there bleed blood all over the place, and he wasn't moving. I don't know where he shot. Just in the body, the chest, the head, the arm. It sure wouldn't be the arm. He'd still be alive, I would think. But you say I don't know when it comes to certain questions of that, but you seem to know the rest of the other stuff. Yeah. A magazine in the in the firearm. If it's there, I don't even know. I don't, I don't know nothing. What words did Dylan say to you after the gun went off? He didn't. What words did he use when Kylie was there? He didn't. He didn't say a word after the gun went bang, and that was Dylan was gone, and Kylie was or Kylie was going ballistic. Mm -hmm. 
Danny, you're you're not going to be remembered in this earth the way you think you want to be remembered. And that's unfortunate because you had every opportunity here today to be the man that you are. I am. And to tell the truth. I'm, you chose to be scared. I'm telling you the truth to the best of my knowledge, bud. Because mm -hmm. I, I ain't got no reason to lie. We got every reason to lie. Why? Why would I lie? You no, shot self, somebody. Self-protection. No, I ain't self-protection. He's my buddy. Why would I shoot my buddy? Lots of That's people what I'm trying to figure out. That's happened. Why do people shoot their wives? Why do people shoot their husbands? Why do people shoot their kids? Shit, why is it shit? There's a whole lot of shooting going on mm -hmm. every day. Dan, your story is not making sense. This is why we're sitting here talking to you. It's not making any sense. You remember many, many things but, about accidental discharges through your trailer. Yeah, well. And tonight you, you can't answer a simple question as what happened? No. Because I don't know. Well, he must have really pissed you off. He didn't piss me off or he wouldn't be there. Well, why point guns at him then? I mean, why did he walk over to my house? I don't know. Because you were drinking together. Well, he just got there. Because he was at his house, and Kylie was there for a couple hours prior. He wasn't there. But you told us yourself that he had a kid exchange tonight. He did. And then he was coming over. Yep. And he was at his sister's, and that's why Kylie came over to my house and sent waited for him. And he walked over there afterwards because she didn't feel comfortable in between her and her girlfriend. was my son's girlfriend, and somehow Dylan's doing them both. Yeah. Right or wrong, though, you, you were planning on having drinks together tonight, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, they were coming over, and we drank. Yeah. And then they were going to go. I don't know what they were going to do after that. You know, they, I wasn't too sure they weren't going to stay tonight because he ain't got no water where he lives, and I guess he ain't living over here by Houseman's no more. He's down in Walkerville somewhere by Kylie's house. Where did they bring you water from then tonight? Tony's house, I think. Dylan's sister's. Okay. I believe. I don't know. Kylie brought it. You remember a lot of things for somebody that doesn't remember. I wasn't drunk. You weren't drunk when? I wasn't drunk last night. I mean, I was walking straight as an L. So you weren't drunk last night? I don't believe it. Good. How did you end up in here then? Picked me up, up off my couch, man, when they come and got Dylan, or an ambulance come and took me straight to jail. Right off my couch. So you don't remember what happened or what you did? No. You don't remember fighting the officers? No. At all. Maybe that's why I got all this weird shit on me here. That's pretty good. You have, you have so far went around the block so many times with different sides of this story and this story. Well, I don't know where the real... If I knew where the truth was, I'd open that door and just hand it to you, you know what I mean? I just don't know. All we want is the truth. That's what I'm trying That's to get. I can't for. give you something I don't but know. But you understand it doesn't make any sense. Why would Dylan shoot himself, especially when the physical evidence says he didn't? I have no clue why he would or wouldn't. Well, he didn't. Uh, Number one, he didn't. But, okay... For sure he didn't, okay? And there's only two people in the house. The dog didn't shoot him, right? Right, and Kylie didn't have no part of it, right? So, Guess it looks like it leaves me, huh? The angle of where that bullet went in, he couldn't have shot himself. From the couch to the chair in front of the wood stove? No, 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 on his body. He could not have shot himself. Well, he wasn't... Not far from me, maybe it's not even, probably from as far as you are. In nearly, think. in nearly 80 years of law enforcement between the two of us, I don't think either one of us have seen this method or this way of someone shooting themselves. Okay, that didn't happen. No, well, I don't know. If I did it, I would admit it, you know what I mean? I mean, accidental is it, discharge, you is know? Is it possible that you shot your friend? Well, evidently, it got to be possible. Did you do it out of anger? No. Hell no. He's my or, bud. Or was it negligence? It wasn't on purpose, so it must have been, what do you call it, negligence? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. On a... Why, why would Kylie say you were mad after he was shot? That you were pissed off and wouldn't help and wouldn't stop? You know, the responders said you just sat there not taking your eyes off the TV and like it's just another day at, at Dan's house. What am I going to do? I don't know. Your friend's dying on the floor. He's dead. I mean, you just look at him. He was, wasn't moving. What do you want us to tell his family? I want to tell him. No, you're not going to tell him. They they know me. They're not. They're not. You're not going to ever talk to him again. Why? What would you like me to tell the family? I'm sorry. What Shit. are you sorry for? Taking their son, I guess. But I. I can't. I can't honestly say that. Because I don't know. Do you know he spoke words after he was shot? No. Not a word. Yeah, he did. He did? Hmm. To the tune of, uh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, somebody asked him if he was okay, and he uttered, uh, no, before he fell on the floor and died. Well, you could tell he ain't going to be okay, eh? Like, on your no. floor? Yeah, right there in front of the wood stove. What would you like me to tell the family? I don't know. I don't know. I don't... I don't know. I know his whole family. They're, they're, they're going to view you as a murderer. Is that what you want? They're great people. Is that what his whole family is. Is that what you want, Dan? No. A lying murderer? No, not at all. They know I don't lie. You are lying right now. Either you're lying... Or, or, I'm not lying, you blacked out, and you already said that you don't black out. I, I haven't, but I did before. No, you said you've never blacked out. years ago, you've, I, once. Listen, it, just like shooting the gun. It's like rolling my car when's the last time, out of it. When's the last time you shot a gun? Now, all of a sudden, when you know we're going to do a gunshot rest, 22. Rest, it was a 22. That's a lie, too. No, it ain't. Yeah. It's sitting right there next to the bed. I don't care where it's sitting. And hey, listen, when you're asked a question, and in great detail, do this gunshot stuff. In in great detail, you're asked a question, okay? And you give me all the times and the last times you shot a gun, and then when I finally tell you we're going to do a gunshot residue test, you think of one that you shot here recently. I, I shoot guns. Have, I that's, shoot, a, that's another lie. I shoot guns quite often. Uh, so what? I got a lot. You were asked the question. You gave an answer. Yeah. You found out we're going to do a gunshot residue test, and now suddenly it don't matter. You, you remember that you shot this twenty-two rifle. Well, I always shoot. I ain't got nothing better to do. I'm bored to death sitting there all by myself. Yeah, apparently, I can't go nowhere. Can't do nothing. Can't drive. I mean, you guys seen that? Thirty years ago, I took my license, fourth offense, drunk driving, reduced to second, and I. Shit, I went to school with two people that killed folks in their cars drinking and driving. And they've been driving from the day forward, the same week. Mm -hmm. And they're still running businesses and everything. It's just, I didn't have the money. Money couldn't blow my way out. What do you think should happen to somebody that that their friend gets shot? Clearly not a, a suicide. <clears throat> Everybody's drunk. And the guy that shot him doesn't remember. What do you think should happen criminally to a guy like that? Probably going to lose all his gun rights and all his guns. No, what do you, you're the judge now. What do you think should happen? <clears throat> well, I don't know. I guess I'm at the uh, mercy of the court. It's Well, if you're the judge, well, I can sentence myself. There's somebody else that you don't even know. I got to live with this shit. My best bud's dead. Mm -hmm. The one that took my son's spot. What do you got to live with? What do I got to live with? Myself. For? To try to stay alive. Because I ain't going to make it that long. Um. Dan, that doesn't make any sense. You you gotta you gotta live with yourself. And you just totally just went around that. Why do I gotta live? Is that what you said? Well, you're saying that you gotta live with yourself, and then you just totally go around that question to say something else that doesn't even apply to what you just said. 
Well, I'm the only one there besides me and the dog. That's the way it's been. Since my divorce. There's a 21-year-old man that died on your floor tonight. Yeah. And his family have no answers. I know. I don't either. None. I have no clue. Man. I mean, yeah. Let's uh, rewind my head and see what I can see in the replay. That that would be great. I thought you weren't oh. looking. No, in my head. You know what I mean? Thinking what 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 happened? Because I could spit it right out. I could. It's almost be like on film. You know, it it'd be there, but it's blank. But you didn't black out. No, I no, I didn't. I didn't pass out or nothing. Didn't black out. Didn't see no stars or nothing. Just. Ears are ringing like a son of a bitch because that gun was loud going off in that trailer. Did you tell him a couple times, Matt, that you were going to shoot him? No. Why would Kylie say that? I don't know what she's doing. So she's a liar. She she drinks quite a bit. So she's a liar. She can just be. Come, just come right on and say it. You yeah. think Kylie's a liar? Yeah, I do in certain things, whatever benefits so, her. So she lied. She made that right up. Yeah. I'm like, she you never threatened to shoot anybody in your life. No, I can't say that. Can't say that. Who have you threatened to shoot? Uh, I got a neighbor. How about Dylan? No, no. I got a neighbor from Colorado. He's gonna shoot my dog. He just... So you're saying here right now, for the record, that you've never threatened to shoot Dylan. Right. Correct. That's a lie. That's right. That's a lie. It is a lie. It is a lie. Yeah. Why don't I shoot my best bud? I mean, you listen to the words I'm saying. You're saying that you've never threatened to shoot Dylan. Well, and never on purpose. You know what I mean? It's jokingly. It shoots your ass, man. Well, kind of, jokingly. What kind of joke is threatening to shoot somebody? And there, there wasn't even no guns involved. Just talk, you know? Like bullshit. So I just asked you a question. Have you ever threatened to shoot Dylan? You said no. No, I haven't. Now you're saying yes. It's... Well, it, dude, you're so full of shit, it's coming out your ears. It probably okay. is by now. So, you know what? I, I'm just about this close to getting up and walking out of here and charging your ass with homicide. Yeah. Okay? Well, and guess what? You're going to be remembered for a, being a lion murdering scumbag. Is that what you want? No. Then, by God, be a fucking man and tell us what happened. I'm trying to tell you, man. You're, I don't you're know. You're trying to hide behind an alcoholic drink. I can't, I can't hide behind an alcoholic drink. Well, that Because you said you weren't that drunk. That's right. You can't hide behind it. If I was that drunk, I wouldn't well, shit. I wouldn't have been able to walk or nothing well, or even you, get off the couch. What, or, what do you suppose happened to your memory loss? Did the aliens come last night and erase your memory or what? It was just like it went blank with the gunshot. It went blank with the gunshot. Now that's convenient, isn't it? It was loud, and that's pretty fucking convenient, isn't it? No, it wasn't convenient. Convenient for you? Ain't never nothing convenient for me, bud. Including not helping your dead friend on the floor that you can hardly look at or didn't even look at only once that you said. What can I? What can I do for him? I don't know. You just shot him. Uh, so about, that's what you're saying. How about get down and tell him you're sorry? Because I didn't. You know why? Because you're not sorry. Because I didn't do it. Because you're not sorry. I didn't do it. And you're clearly not sorry. I'm not, I, I can't be sorry for something I didn't do. No, I'm not. You're trying to convince me that I killed my bud. Listen, I'm trying to convince you to tell the truth. I am telling the truth. And that the truth will be what the whole world wants to hear, not some bullshit lie. It ain't a lie. From a guy that goes around shooting holes in his house and pointing guns at his friends. They know better. Everybody knows better than that. That knows me. What did I just say that isn't true? You're a drunk that shot holes in your house. You're a drunk that's pointed guns at your friends. You're a drunk that's threatened to shoot your friends, but yet you didn't shoot your friend. Correct. Well, I, 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 ain't, that, I, wouldn't, I ain't that damn dumb, man. I wouldn't shoot my bud. Just threatened to and shoot your house accidentally? Well, that, the house was uh, totally different things. Because oh, oh, so. the guns were empty, supposedly. Except for the one in the chamber. And actually, there was, them kids were there then, when that one went through the roof. Mm -hmm. That scared the hell out of all of us. 
Me too. So I you, think, you think drunks with guns is a good idea? No, no, no. But you were drunk last night, right? Correct. You were totally sober? Yeah, that's why I have my gun laying there. So how much did you drink? I have no clue. Maybe a half a pint of you drink, DJ. You drank a swig of their vodka. You said yeah. you had some Budweiser. Yep. Yeah. Uh, 16 ounce can of Bud. Because Kylie just went to the store and got it for us. Smoked some weed before they got there. A bowl. Not even a bowl, a hit. Okay. So one hit, one beer, and half a pint of EJ. When's before, bottles. Since since last night, when was the last time you drank before last night? Saturday night? Friday or Saturday night? Okay. It might have been Friday night, because Dylan was there. Okay. He was out partying, him and his buds. Did you drink Sunday? No. Nothing at all? No. Smoking weed or anything? Yep, took a couple hits off my bowl. Okay. But that was it, because I don't go nowhere. I, I ain't got my bicycle ride to the store no more. Somebody stole it. How do you explain your blood alcohol level being as high as it was if you drank only one beer, well, that, a half a pint of, of brandy, and one swig of vodka? No, no, no food. I didn't eat shit yesterday. Hours and hours and hours later, you're still over what's considered legal limit? Evidently. Yeah. So... I don't have no blood in me. It's all alcohol. I'm pickled. But you don't drink that much, you said. Well, I don't, but I'm... I don't... I get cold so easy, it's unreal. What's that got to do with alcohol? There's too much alcohol in my system. But you said you don't drink that much. I don't, but I did. I used to drink like a fish. Okay, but Actually, my mother used, to, was an alcohol. used to has nothing to do with, with currently. You said you hadn't drank since like Friday or Saturday. You yep, didn't drink Saturday. Sunday. No Sunday. No. Okay, so being pickled or however you described it doesn't even apply because last night was the first time you drank from Saturday. Correct. Well, last night was what? Monday. That's Monday. a couple days. Yeah. Yeah. A couple days, you're not going to have any alcohol in your system anymore if you don't drink. So I drank that day, yesterday. Okay. So it started at 10 o'clock in the morning. Can of beer. So. <laughs> so you drank a can of beer, Budweiser. Yes, right? correct. 16 in, ounces. In the morning. Ounces or ounces? You said Ounce. one can of beer. Yep, one can. One 16 can. ounce can. In the morning, what time? One of the big ones, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock in the morning. And then did you drink something right after that? When's the next drink? It was a few hours after that one. So, 2 o'clock in well, the afternoon? Yeah, probably was, because Dylan was making an exchange with his girlfriend with kid, and Kylie went to the store for me. Okay, and what'd she get for you? A six-pack of them 16 ounces and a half a pint of EJ. What store did she go to? Copeland's. Okay. Now, so if you only drank one of those beers, the other one should still be there? Yes. Okay, should so be the other five of the Budweiser should still be there. And it should be in the cooler, All right. I would think. And then oh, the, the, the yeah. drink the, did she get you a half pint of brandy? Yeah. And you drank that whole thing? No, it's, it should be. It wasn't a half pint, it was a half a pint. Okay, so you, drink, so you drink half of a pint. I don't even think I drank the whole half. Okay. Because it should be sitting right there in front of the couch next to my table where I sit. Right. Okay. And how much of that vodka did you drink? A mouthful. Two two shots, probably. How did you get the, that drunk? Because I don't like that shit. Because you were drunk. How did you get that drunk on what you just told me you drank? I don't know. Not possible. Not for you, maybe. <laughs> Liquor's quicker. Would it be fair to say that someone who says they're an alcoholic or an alcoholic has a system that they can drink more than the average person? Yeah, I believe so. Okay, so yeah, you got your, your tolerances up there, you know. you. So how does that make any sense to what you just said? I used to drink like a fish, and it, it should... Used to. Used to. I, sh I should be able to keep up with anybody. I don't know. All I can think is that it was an intentional act. 
and that you got pissed off for some reason because you were clearly arguing with him is what we're being told and loading guns and threatening to shoot him right. and then lo and behold the guy is shot and dead so yeah i don't make a pretty picture no it don't make me sound like a real fucking asshole i didn't do anything I was so stone cold so If I, I, I would admit to it if I knew it, you know? I, no, you I can't say what I didn't. No, I don't know. Not true. It's your story, so. These are what's called buckle swabs. I'm gonna rub the inside of your cheek. We're gonna give you a copy of the search warrant that we have. So, um, so I gotta take two of them on the inside of your cheek and I'm actually like getting skin cells off plus saliva. Is that like COVID test? No, that goes up your nose. This goes in your mouth. Okay. And then we send these to the lab and we get a DNA profile. You ever had your DNA taken before? I don't believe it. I don't, I well, don't you would have so. known because they would have done it this way. They just stuck it in your mouth. And... No, no. Okay. When was the last time you were in jail? Five, six years ago, maybe? What was that for? Slapped my daughter. Okay, I saw that. Yeah. And that was it. Other than that, it was 30 years prior. What ended up happening with that case? Was it dismissed? Yeah. Okay. Well, no, I pled guilty. Okay. Did you pay a fine or something? Or? Yep. Okay. And they were going to drop the possession of marijuana charge, which when I paid off my fines, they said paid in full. Possession of marijuana at the bottom of the paper that they were supposed to drop. They were charging me with uh, domestic violence. Mm. And this, the courthouse is all whacked out and always has been. How long have you been diagnosed with COPD, Dan? Yeah, 10 years, probably. COPD and severe rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid, not just regular. Right. Where do you got, where, what parts of your body? All my joints. All your fingers and toes and toes. knees and legs and ankles and elbows. Man. Just, they took all my teeth at dentist down here. They were supposed to pull two infected ones and they yanked them all but the bottom five. Well, you, you don't have to worry about them anymore. And my health went all downhill ever since. Literally straight, straight to hell. All right. These are sterile swabs. You saw me open them. So I'm going to stick this in your mouth. Go and I got to touch the outside of your cheek while I'm doing it, okay? Mm hmm And I got to do that one more time. Same side or the other side? This side. It doesn't matter. That thing tastes nasty. What's that? I said, that tastes nasty. Right out cardboard. <laughs> That's basically what it is. Okay. I'm going to swab both of your hands, but I'm, mm. I'm going to start with your right hand, okay? We're going to do this twice. Okay? Just let me wipe it. All 
That shit will do something to your head. Yeah, alcohol. No kidding. Like, um, it's good. Rubbing alcohol. Well, it's got a base to it that's like, I think, uh, kind of acetone type deal. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's a special chemical. So I'm going to do this right hand first. And I got to do this three times on each hand. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Did you put this on, or when did you get that? Ambulance did it last night. You remember them doing that? Yeah, that was it, though. That's the last I remember, besides going in the car. Who did that? One of the uh, rescue units or the mm -hmm. paramedics. Yep. Yep. Because I didn't have any of this shit on me before. Do the same thing. Damn, I'm cold. Not many people can shoot a gun both handed. I can use a hammer with both hands, too, a hammer and nail. Can you write with, like, a pencil or anything both handed? No. Some people can do that. No, but I can throw a baseball in both hands, and I can only catch with one usually, though. How about batting? Did you bat both ways? No, just once. Just, just right. Just throw them. You throw left or right. That's, yep. that's unusual. Hammers, too. I mean, hammer and nails. What way do you shoot a rifle, Dan? Like this. Right shoulder. So right-handed. Yeah. Yeah. So we're both in agreement that 22 rifle that you said you shot mm -hmm. a few days ago, you shot that right-handed. Correct. Yeah, I can't. So that means your left hand would be down here, right? Yes. Correct. Yeah, holding the forearm, you know. So if your left hand shows gunshot residue, where would that come from? The pistol. You know, because I, I shoot that pistol in both hands. Well, your left hand shows gunshot residue. Yeah, that's a pistol. Did you shoot the pistol last night? Evidently, I did. You guys are making out such a thing that I was shooting my butt. I'm not making out anything, man. Tell uh, me what the evidence says. I don't know, because uh, I, don't, I don't know. I just poof blank. Well, this turned pink. On your left hand. Yeah. That means it's gunshot residue. Yeah. And that couldn't come from just throwing a clip back in it? Nope. Did you do that? No, it wasn't. I, I put it in there earlier. No. Earlier in this interview with you and I today. It was empty. My gun was because Dylan emptied it. 
You know, he shot all the bullets, and I refilled the clip, and he got them back. All right. So now you loaded the gun. Loaded the clip. Or put the clip in Last the gun. Week. But I didn't... The jack went in the chamber, I guess you'd call it. You did or didn't? Didn't. But you loaded the gun last night. It was loaded. I mean, the clip was loaded. I just stuck it in there. So now... You know, in the bottom of the gun. So you stuck the clip in, which is loading the gun. Because empty gun ain't worth the shit. Right. But you did that last night. Yes. So earlier you said you didn't load the gun. It was empty. Yes. So now you're saying you did load the gun. Well, I, had, I had to put the shells in it, but I didn't load it, load it. You know what I mean? I didn't cock it. I stuck the clip full of bullets in the bottom of the gun. I didn't jack one in or nothing. Right. You know, you've given a lot hey, of... Hey, you send someone out. You've given a lot of conflicting uh, information in this interview. Yeah. Uh, I can't next say what I don't know, you know? Now, you know what conflicting is? Yeah. That your story's changed? Yeah, I know. You know, you know who... Typically changes the story. Yeah, a liar. I know, but that ain't me. I don't. I don't. Why'd you change the story so many times? I don't. I don't know what happened. That's I can't come okay. up with. Okay, but you changed the story in the midst of you saying I don't know what happened. I don't. My God, you, man. You you told more stories than than we hear out of most people in here. I'm getting a real bad impression of you, Dan. It's yeah. not not the same impression of who I who I've been told you are. Well. I, I hate to say that, and I'm not trying to be mean, but my God, man, you got a chance here for to 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 basically you, we're talking about your legacy in this world, okay? Because we're not young men anymore, are we? Hell no. Okay. God damn. Time flies. All right. Yeah, it does. And we're both gonna check out of this world, probably not too much longer. Uh, I figured okay. that. Yeah, I know. And and here's the thing. I didn't even want to be here this winter, but. We go out as a liar, or we go out with a man that says, you know what, I fucked up. Hey, it's, it's possible. But I I just can't see myself doing stupid shit like that. No, I don't. I, I no, either. no way. I no way, either. man. He's my yeah. best bud. Not anymore. <sighs> Not anymore, man. He'll always be my bud. Damn. That's terrible. I'm not judging you, bud. I'm just trying to get the, get the the facts out there. Uh, you know, I'm saying if, it right now for the world to see you change your story in here so many times. It's sad. Well, if I remember shooting him, I would have told you I shot him. Accidentally shot well, him. Why know? would somebody change their story? First you loaded the gun, then you didn't load the gun, or you didn't load the gun, then you didn't well, you load got, the gun. I'm just, you know? I'm beside myself. All right. All righty. He's all set for you. Danny McCarthy was sentenced to 13 to 30 years in prison for the murder of Dylan Daniel.